So these machines have been banned in our state for more than 10 years. An illegal gambling ring busted inside a home in Cherokee County. It was allegedly run out of a mobile home in Blacksburg. Investigators say they found nearly a dozen poker machines and a couple thousand dollars in cash. 7 News reporter Kirsten Glavin is joining us now. She's live in our studio in downtown Greenville with more details on this. Kirsten. Well, that's right. Investigators say they were tipped off about the supposed gambling ring and set up surveillance to check it out. They even had informants go in before making the bust. It was all fun and games at this mobile home in Blacksburg. That is, until sheriff's deputies showed up. We're not going to tolerate these type of operations in our county. According to the Cherokee County Sheriff's Office, investigators were tipped off about a supposed illegal gambling ring happening at the home on River Hill Road. Narcotics officers went in and say they found 11 of these poker machines and $2,400 in cash. As for people there, they say it was a full house. Multiple people were inside, but only two were arrested. There was someone staying there 24 hours a day and allowing people to come in all hours of the day and night to gamble at this particular location. Robert Coleman and Danny Baxter Roop taken into custody and charged with 11 counts of illegal gambling. Roop was also found with a gun on him and charged with unlawful carrying of a pistol. Sheriff Steve Mueller telling 7 News he believes they may be linked to other gambling operations as well. For now, he feels bad for other local businesses who are following the rules and playing by the book. Kind of frustrating. You got legitimate business people out here that's trying to run small businesses, big businesses. They're paying taxes and doing everything right. And then you got somebody operating an illegal gambling house like this. And we know they're probably not paying taxes and doing everything right. The sheriff's office is hoping more tips will come in like this for other gambling operations in the area. Tom. So, Kirsten, we understand uh, there may be some uh, indication that there could be more than this one gambling house. What have you found out about that? Well, yeah, that's right. At the they did find record-keeping books at the home, and they want to track down whoever provided those poker machines because they may be linked to other illegal gambling rings as well. That's what the sheriff is telling us tonight. All right, we'll Tom. keep following the story. Kirsten, thank you.